Hey guys, it's Dan with another graphic novel review, and this time, this one's for my true crime peeps. Um, I got another true crime book from Rick Geary. This is a part of his Treasury of Victorian Murder, and this one is about the saga of the Bloody Benders. Now, um, if you're someone who follows true crime, you probably already have heard of the Bloody Benders. And to be honest with you, um, they don't even really know that this family of German immigrants, if their last name was even really Bender, but they just kind of showed up in, um, it was like the, after the Civil War, and they kind of bought this plot of land, I think it was in Kansas, I don't remember 100%, it was near Oklahoma, it was like somewhere in the Midwest, and they bought this plot of land, they built this little ramshackle um, shack that was kind of on a trade route. And they were offering services like, you know, people like could come there and buy provisions on their way to different places. And the daughter slash wife, we don't even really, like I said, there's so much mystery when it comes to this family. Because there's mom, pa, Bender, and then there's Junior and Kate, and they, they're not sure if Kate was really the uh, Junior's sister or if it was really his wife. Like I said, there was so much shrouded mystery about them. But to get to the the matters and what the case is about is that they would, instead of like um, helping or selling items to people, they were really just hitting, like taking people out as they would stop to rest there. They had this like... Um, curtain that was behind the chair and then one of them would whack the guy in the head and then yeah so they like they took out a lot of people and took all their money they must have got away with like thousands of dollars which back in the 1800s was a lot of money and then you know it's like a total unknown unsolved mystery um, they were never caught, and they just, like, once they got wind that the people of the community were on to the, what they were doing, they just kind of took off and, like, left their little farm and their little building. So, yeah, they basically got away with murdering a bunch of people, and it is pretty interesting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the black and white, but, you know, I found it to be interesting. I had heard of the case before. I think that Rick Geary's doing some pretty interesting things with these true crime graphic novels that he's putting out. So um, if you're into true crime, I'm going to recommend this to you. Go ahead and check this one out if you're into true crime. Like a fascinating case and um, who knows, they'll probably never solve it because it was so long ago and yeah, but it's just... It's a it's something very interesting to check out if you're into true crime and like I said, there it's got a lot of different little like facts about the family, like the stuff they did know about them. So yeah, it is an interesting read. Very short read, I might add. Um, of course, as always, I will have an Amazon link down below that works for residents of the United States if you'd like to check out that link. Also, for those of you who don't live in the U.S., I have a book depository link that offers free worldwide shipping. And they also, because they're a subsidy of Amazon, they do offer like those same great discounts. So go ahead and check that link there. You can search for this book or any other book. Um, I do appreciate all of y'all that have been buying the books from my links. Because, you know, I got all these views, people are stopping, they want to see these book reviews, but I don't have the subs. And according to YouTube standards, you got to have a thousand subscribers. I've got the watch time, I just don't have the subs. And I always, you know, I appreciate the little bit that I get percentage-wise from the sales of the books. So, you guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you if you made it this far into the video. If you're someone who's looking for more graphic novel, like even regular fiction reviews, go ahead and hit that subscriber link. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Um, especially when it comes to true crime, because I know not all of the people that are subscribed to my channel are into true crime. So I'm probably going to upload this on an off day. I usually upload on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. And I'll probably do this one either on a Wednesday or Thursday coming up, or maybe a Monday or something. I'm not really sure yet, but I'll upload it. And if you got the notification bell, you'll know when it's been uploaded. Thank you for watching. Till next time, later.